Welcome to Bella Beerman's channel. Today is a special episode by request about polyprenal immunostimulant, one treatment available by prescription for cats with dry FIP. It is not a cure. FIP has no current cure. But over 80 cats diagnosed with dry FIP and on polyprenal have lived longer than their year, some more than a year. This video should be of help to owners of newly diagnosed dry FIP cats who wish to try polyprenal. What you would receive when you order polyprenal, you order it by a six pack vial here. And here's the individual vial. It's a 10 ml, 10 cc vial. And on the vial and on um, this pack here, it tells you the dosage. But please remember, this is the dosage for herpes virus. And I've used it for my herpes virus cat, and it, and it seems to work really well. And for Bella, though, we're using it off-label. And that has a different dosage, and I will go over what the dosage is for using it for dry FIP. I'm trying to go over the dosage with you, but as you can see, uh, Bella has claimed the screen. So if she's a good girl, she can stay while I'm filming this. So um, I wanted to talk about the, the dosage calculation. So here's your polyprenal dosage calculation as suggested by Dr. Legendry of University of Tennessee. Note that this calculation is for dry FIP. It's not the dosage that's on the label for herpes virus. You need to get your cat's weight in kilograms and use this formula to come up with the dosage for your individual cat. So for Bella, she is 3.2 kgs and I multiply it by three over two or 1.5. Um, and that gives her dosage, which is 4.5 mils or cc's. And now I'm going to round that up to 5 cc's, just because there's um, 10 mils in here. And that'll be around 2 doses. Uh, people ask, well, how many doses do I you know, get out of a, a pack, a 6 pack that I order? It depends totally on your cat's weight. If your cat is... Uh, lighter than that if it's a kitten a young cat and many of these FIP cats are then it, it may even be three mils that that her dosage will be and then you'd have three three doses out of this if your cat weighs I think the maximum that they've decided um, no, the maximum the upper edge of the dosage you can give is 7.5 so if you do your calculations and it's, you know, eight mils because you have a really big boy and we do have some of those in our group, um, then you would just give 7.5 max for that. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to draw up the polyprenal. As you can see, it is sealed in this little vial and um, it's recommended that you get from your veterinarian a needle and a syringe. I just got this syringe because I like the tip. This is an oral tip, so it, it goes between Bella's back teeth when she clenches down and she doesn't want her medicine. Uh, but a lot of vets don't like that because um, this tip can come off of it. So if you were actually giving an injection, then you would have a lure lock, something that locked your needle to your syringe. But because I'm just using this to draw up, then it, it's not as important. But what is important is that you need to clean off the top of this. So I just take a little alcohol wipe. And I'm just going to clean off the top. Then I'm going to take my syringe, and if it's a new syringe, I'll pop it back just to break any seal to make it go smoother. I'll take my needle. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can read it, it's a 22 gauge, that's 22 gauge. It's just a needle size, it's not as important. I've tried uh, larger needles, like 18, it pulls up a lot of air, and um, I just found that the 22 works well for us. So I'm going to take it off. Take it apart. This is 
clean. So I'm going to put it on here. It's kind of hard to film and put it on, but that is how I'm going to attach it. And Bella's off camera here watching. She's like, oh no, am I going to get my polyprenol right now? Okay, so I still have the cap on until I'm ready to use it. So then I will, this is the way I do it. And I use it here because I need to see the level. You won't be able to see the level of liquid in here, but I can see it. I will remove the cap. I will place, see this? There's a little hole in the center. I will pierce that. And you can't really see it on camera, but I can see the bevel side up. And I will pull down. I will draw up this medicine. Trying to get Bella's 5 cc's out of it. It's the very last of it, so uh, when you get to the bottom, you're going to have to mess around with your needle tip because you're going to get air. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to cap it. The way we were taught was to not touch it, but to slide it on, just so you don't accidentally puncture yourself. And then I take this off, and I immediately put it back on here. I may use it a second time. Since this is not an injectable, this is an oral medicine, um, all these aseptic techniques are not as necessary, but... Um, Anytime you draw up a medicine that's sterile like this, um, I don't care if it's oral, I, I just err on the side of cleanliness. And if there were leftover uh, polyprenol in here, I would put it back into the refrigerator and that's how it should be stored. Um, I think I told you about um, the pack here, you would get the pack and the manufacturers, they did some tests recently and they decided that yeah, Storing it in a cool, dry place, which is your refrigerator, is the best option. So here I am, and you see up here I have a bubble. So I need to get that bubble out. There we go. So I have here about 4 cc, so not quite enough for her. But uh, as this is just a, a practice, that's fine. For her, her dosage would be down here at a five. But I may squirt out a little bit too much, but right there is five cc's and that's hers. But technically she's four and an eighth. 4.8 cc, so I will just get the air out. Again, this is the tip that I prefer, but other people use other methods. For example, um, others may um, open this and then they put it in some tuna juice and some cats will lick it all, but they have to lick it all in 20 minutes. They have to um, be voracious eaters. Some people put on their food, etc. but Bella is not that cooperative. So I have to actually put this in her mouth and get her to take it. And in another segment, uh, we're going to show you actually how um, we actually give it to her. But it, it's a two-person job for us to, to give it to her. It um, See, it's kind of a clear. Uh, there's really no taste to it, per se. Although the manufacturer has said that they've improved the taste. Um, we have gotten it splattered in our face. And that's how we know it. There's not a particular taste, but maybe for Bella. Um, she doesn't like it as well, but we've trained her because she's been on it for over four years that she gets her little toy after she gets her medicine. It's very important to train your cat and to reward them for good behavior. So getting her polyprenol means this is her toy that she gets that only comes out on polyprenol days. So it, whether it's a toy, whether it's a treat, uh, whatever you can do, hugs and cuddle, cuddles or whatever, you need to train your cat that to associate this polyprenol with some treat, some good, good outcome for her.
take the syringe. I'm going to put it between her teeth and I'm not putting it in the towards the back of her mouth but to her side. Squirt, 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 just one cc at a time. Yes, it's a little messy, but eventually she takes all of her mitts. Thanks for watching this video about polyprenol. It is for educational purpose only. Bella has used polyprenol for four and a half years and we believed her dry FIP is under control because of it. Polyprenol is not a cure, but it has helped some cats who have lived with FIP for several years. I am not a veterinarian, so I cannot diagnose or prescribe polyprenol for your cat. Neither am I a spokesperson for vet immune. Please contact your veterinary professional about your cat's particular case.